guys, it's Justine, and today we are gonna be doing a desk tour. Now this is pretty much the ultimate desk tour. I have this set up to basically my perfection. Now the one thing that you will notice that is not perfect is my cable management, and this is like a real desk tour. Like this is utility. I didn't set this up for you to be like, wow, Justine, you're so neat and organized, because I'm absolutely, I'm not. This is pretty much what I've been using since I got the new Mac Studio, which I absolutely love. And I also got a new little edition from OWC, which is called the Mini Stack. Now, a lot of people have used this previously with Mac Mini, but now this has become sort of the perfect companion, not only for the Mac Studio, but also my MacBook Pro. A huge thank you to OWC for partnering with me on this video. They are pretty much my one-stop go-to solution for storage. Everything that you're gonna see on this desk tour is pretty much powered by OWC, from the Thunderbolt dock that I have to this really cool Mini Stack that I just got and I can't wait to show you. So, let's start the desk tour. So here's the desk setup. Now, what is so exciting about this is the fact that I do have three displays. Now, two of these are the Pro Display XDRs here on the left and the right, and in the center is the new studio display. And I love having the studio display in the center because I don't have to have an additional microphone. I don't have to have an additional camera. I've been doing Zoom calls off of here. And it's so great because this is such a huge wide open space that I'm filming in right now. And having center stage be something that is featured on the studio display is so great because I I can be doing my calls. I can still be walking around the studio cleaning or setting up for the next shoot while I'm still doing calls. And it still keeps me in frame. I know there's been a lot of drama over the studio display and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, okay, I get it. But also I, I don't really get it because I have been editing absolutely everything off of the studio display. And it's connected to the Pro Display XDRs right next to it. So what I've been doing is using the center screen as kind of like my timeline. So that's where I'm doing most of my editing. So on the display over here, this is where I have the output. So I have the final product, what the video is gonna look like. So it's just one full screen video while I'm editing. And then over here on the vertical display, which by the way, obsessed with vertical displays. If you've never tried it, highly recommend. This is where I have my file browsers. So I have all of my files, everything that I possibly could need to use in my project, and it's all right there. And I can just scroll, I can add it to the timeline, and it is pretty much a dream come true for editing. So to make all of this work, I'm using this new Mini Stack STX. Now this has been out for a little while, but I just got one, and it has been so incredible because it fits perfectly on top of either a Mac Mini or my Mac Studio. Now you can't actually see it because it is behind my desk, but this is what it looks like. What's really cool about the Mini Stack STX is it is not only giving you four Thunderbolt ports, but it also has expandable storage up to 18 terabytes, which is pretty freaking incredible. And I feel like this was something that was so awesome with the Mac minis because you could easily stack these up and it was kind of expanding the Mac mini to even more of its potential. But now adding this on with the Mac studio, it's been honestly incredible. One of the things that I've been using the mini stack STX for in addition to the fact that I can use it also as an external drive, it has three additional Thunderbolt ports that I can use for various accessories. Now what I've been doing is switching this back and forth between my MacBook and my Mac Studio. So I unplug this cable that's going into the MacBook right into the Mac Studio, and then I unplug the other display and plug that into the Mac Studio. And just like that, we've made a quick transition from MacBook to Studio with triple displays. Now this Thunderbolt dock is also one of my favorites. And this is something that I travel with anytime I go anywhere. And I love this because not only does it give me additional Thunderbolt ports, it also gives me extra USB and even an SD card slot. But now the MacBook does have an SD card slot, but you know, if you need an extra extra, you've got it. Or if you have a MacBook that doesn't have an SD card slot, they've got you covered. Next up are these Thunderblade drives. So I have an eight terabyte and a 16 terabyte, and these now go all the way up to 32 terabytes, which is so impressive. These are actually solid state RAID drives. So I've been using these to edit almost all of my projects off of, and they're absolutely incredible. They are a little bit expensive, so there are other options if you are looking to cut costs, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for performance and 
and storage, look no further. They're incredible. Now we know that I clearly shoot a lot of video content and a lot of this video content needs storage. And I've already been talking a lot about storage, but this has been my storage backup solution. This is the Thunder Bay Flex 8. And with this, there's eight drive bays and you can get up to 144 terabytes of total storage. So after I'm done working on projects, this is where everything ends up. So it's really great to know that not only do I have some of my most important projects always stored on a separate drive, but this is also a backup to the backup. So I do usually have at least two or three copies of a current project that I'm working on, but everything in the end ends up on the Thunder Bay. So this is the home of pretty much everything. Now I know you guys may have seen that I previously did a video with a jellyfish server and the jellyfish server also is housing a bunch of my other old archived footage, but I did in fact fill that server up. What was great about that server is it was more of a server situation. So I could connect multiple people to that at the same time and we could all be working off of it. But pretty much now the workflow is all remote. So anytime I'm working with someone, we're either transferring footage using Frame.io or Dropbox or whatever else people prefer, or we're just giving drives back and forth, which is actually my next point. Tiny little storage drives. So these are three of my favorite from OWC. So this little OWC Electron, this is actually two terabytes. This is cute cute, but powerful. I've edited a ton of 4K footage directly off of this drive and had zero issues whatsoever. Jake can attest, because this is what I've been handing him back and forth for footage. <laughs> It's great. So there are so many different storage options that OWC has to offer. And of course they range by price, by read write speed, and of course physical size as well. So why I love having sort of these smaller drives is if we're shooting a video like this, I can save all of this stuff and I can hand it to Jake, be like, here you go Jake, edit time, here you go. So he takes that and then he can go home and edit. It's pretty great. Okay, I'm gonna take that back now because that's that one's not yours. So another thing that I have connected here is my CF Express A card reader, which also does read SD cards as well because these are the cards that I pretty much use. I don't really use SD cards anymore, which is a shame because there is a built-in port on the MacBook. I know, I know. And I like this desk a lot because this just pulls out just like so. I've got my little keyboard, little mouse. I have a Nomad mouse pad, which is a nice leather, which is incredible. Love it. Then I have my AirPods Max, which I use sometimes when I'm editing, but what's really great is the fact that the studio display has speakers built in. If anybody wants to come at me for loving the studio display, I'm here. Something else that I've been doing is drawing a lot. I got a little drawing solution here, so I can just do drawing things. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video and showing you guys a little look into how I have my desk set up. This has been so much fun and it's also been super productive and I'm such a huge fan of this mini stack. I didn't even know that this was a thing and now that I know, I don't know how I've survived this long without it. It's probably one of my new favorites. So if you do have a Mac Studio or even a Mac Mini, this could definitely be something that could help out your workflow. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'll put links to all of the things that I talked about in this video. And let me know if there's anything that you think that I might need to make this even more effective. I'll see you later, bye.